and only say what you'd want your mother to read. That applies also to uh, anytime you're speaking with um, print publications or online publications. Never ever say anything that you don't want to read. Um, that's a good baseline. Because this will be a new way to reach new audiences. There are, um, you know, certain trends come and go. Um, I can remember when I first started with United Airlines a few thousand years ago, we had a teletype machine. Not so much teletype machines going on these days. But there are, you know, faxes, have, they're falling off. Even email <coughs> is starting to fall off as people move into other forms of communication. So you've got to stay in, in the loop. And if you want to attract that next generation, you're going to have to find out where do they live, where do they breathe, what do they eat. They're not standing by the fax machine or waiting for the teletype to come across. I know that. Um, and it is a great way to generate and absorb instant feedback. It's a way to really get the information out there and back into you. Um, like Jeff was saying about the little mic port, there's things, there's things of value to get um, good information and get them quickly. And a great way to share information th through your blogs is to be able to you know, give your expert opinion on the topic. You know, what's the, what's the hottest trend? What are the current issues? And how can you comment on it? By contributing to a blog, it's your own little published outlet. And it becomes sort of a history of who you are and what you do. And blogs don't really have to be that hard to write. You can write them quickly, succinctly. You don't have to write a 70-page case study with every blog entry. In fact, shorter is better. Get to the point. 